Greetings YouTube, Last Gunslinger 3759 here. A uh, little bit of an impromptu review, hadn't really planned on it this soon, but uh, I think it warrants it. Uh, did an impulse buy from Amazon a couple days ago. Uh, saw this pistol for a good price and I had a coupon, so I went for it. And uh, well, you'll get my impressions here. Uh, what we're talking about is the Umarax SA-10 pistol. All right, uh, it is a successor to the SA-9. Uh, similar styling, it does have the gold receiver and the gold barrel uh, that you can see on the SA-9. I do not own the SA-9, but I heard it was a pretty decent pistol. Now, this is in blowback, uh, 0.177 or 4.5 millimeter, both pellet and BB, and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, you can see that one of the big differences with the SA-10 and the SA-9 is going to be the uh, barrel. All right, as you can see, it does have a cap on it, and you can unscrew that to reveal a thread. All right, um, I believe it's 14 millimeter, but I can't be sure. I don't have anything that fits it right now, and I'm really not going to go into that because, um, unfortunately, this particular pistol is going to be going back, and I'll get to why in a moment. Uh, so what we're looking at here is a polymer construction uh, the the upper receiver is metal lower receiver is polymer all right it's a good feeling polymer it's got the uh, the texturing here all right that you would see on Glocks on occasion it does feel good in the hand all right uh, it's a it's a nice feeling pistol it's got a good grip to it does have the accessory rail we love our accessories um, it is blowback okay However, um, I usually like to, to feel a little bit more tension in the springs for a blowback pistol, all right? But, um, you know, that's, that's just nitpicky. It's not a big deal, all right? It does have a satisfying snap, okay? Um, it is in uh, 0.177, 4.5 millimeter BB end pellet, and... Uh, it has some interesting features. We have the barrel. Uh, we have the wide ejection port that doesn't eject, but as you can see, the magazine is there. All right, it does go all the way through, just like a real pistol. However, um, we do have some interesting features that they went with, and I can see why they chose it, and I can see some problems with it. So let's take a look at the magazine first. All right. So, um, all right. So as you can see, we have. A full-size metal magazine so metals always appreciated okay however oh and there's one of the problems right there let me go ahead and grab that all right so we have rotary magazines which in and of themselves are great okay they they you can hold more than one usually okay and they're very dependable all right however as you can see I think the way the design was supposed to be is you have, as you can see here, a metal core. I'm not sure if it's aluminum or pot metal or whatever, but you have a metal core there. And I believe that there is a magnet in here because I feel a little bit of resistance when I try to remove it. But as you can see, this magazine, which is for the pellets, all right, and you can't really tell by looking at it. You can't really tell by looking at it. Maybe you can. But uh, you have, these are for the BBs and this one and this one is for pellets okay but there is absolutely no retention here so if you are changing magazines all right if you pull the magazine out of the magazine well you better have it at 90 degrees because that magazine's going to fall out and it's black and it's tiny and i've already almost lost it twice on my bedroom floor so that does not bode well but again that could save it that would still be slightly nitpicky. I mean, I could uh, probably modify this, all right? A little drop of super glue or something to, to cause it to seat better, all right? That's still nitpicky. Um, however, there are other issues, uh, most notably the CO2 in this, okay? When you put a CO2 cylinder in this, all right, so let's just say you're, you're firing... And these are eight, as you can see, they're, uh, they're eight-shot magazines. You're firing eight rounds, all right? So 
if you're firing eight rounds per magazine, you would expect that you would get at least full power or damn close to it for all four, and you don't. Uh, power starts dropping off uh, after shot number 24, and before the end of the fourth magazine, your hammer isn't, uh, the, the slide is not kicking back with enough force to even cock your hammer to put you into a double action. All right, so I've tried, uh, I have two of these. I've tried two different magazines. I've tried three different manufacturers of CO2 cylinders, uh, a no-name, Umarex, and Crossman. They all have the same um, effect. And I guess just for the money and since, you know, it's such an easy return, this is probably going to be a pass from me because they it doesn't look like they put a whole lot of thought, all right? I mean, even these magazines, all right, there's no real retention here at all, all right? There's a little bit, but I mean, you know, I mean, look. Oh, there goes two of them, all right? Like I said, <laughs> the pellet magazine and this one both came out. So I don't think this is even using a, a magnetic... Uh, retention at all. I don't think, I think it's just friction, which is even worse. All right. Who wants to be out there shooting outdoors and change a magazine all of a sudden, you, you know, or change your, well, change your magazine to change your magazine. And all of a sudden your magazines just kind of drop off into the grass. Good luck finding them, especially uh, with this one. Okay. It's polymer. Therefore, you're not even going to be able to use a magnet to get to get it unless it's loaded. And even then, it's going to be most likely lead pellets. So, although I love the styling of this pistol, all right, I really love the styling of it, all right? It, it, it makes me think of, um, because of the gold accents, it makes me think of the golden uh, 1911s that Nicolas Cage used in the movie Face Off. That's what it, it kind of gives me a vibe for. Now, uh, I'm going to go through the rest of the features of here, uh, of this pistol, uh, just because you do have a takedown rod or a takedown switch, all right? I'm not going to take it down because um, I'm going to be returning it, so I don't want to lose any parts. Your safety is actually integral here in the slide catch. Uh, there is no retention, all right? It's not going to stop on the last shot. That's another thing. Uh, it doesn't stop on the last shot, and the hammer remains back on your last shot. So I guess that's okay, all right, because the hammer would be back on a, on a real semi-automatic pistol. All right, on the last shot, it's just the slide would lock back, so you wouldn't have to rack it again. But I guess you really don't with a rotary magazine, so I guess that also makes sense. But um, you also, if you can see it here, you can see that there's actually another safety feature built into the trigger, okay? You, if you pull the trigger without depressing this right here, all right, it will not fire the gun, all right? So that's an additional safety, but the safety is also here, and you can see safe, fire, forward and back, slide. Uh, the sights... The rear sights, as you can see, are okay. All right, they have the different coloration there. However, the front blade sight has no markings at all, and if you're in shade, you're not going to be able to get a good sight picture. So, if I were keeping them, I would definitely be putting a dab of either uh, glow paint or fluorescent paint or white paint on that, just to make sure you could get a good sight picture. Because, yeah, you know, yeah. with the contrast of the table, yeah, you can see it, but yeah. So, while, uh, now, with the blowback is working, I can kind of see where the gas is going because this does blow back really, really hard. Okay? It, it's probably one of the hardest firing pistols. And this was actually told to me by Dan. Shout out to True Canadian Air Guns. Uh, he told me this is one of the hardest pistols he's ever shot with blowback. And it does hit very hard. However, because of that, it's a good trade uh, It's a bad trade-off because you're going to end up losing gas very quickly, all right? And you might get 24 shots before the gas starts waning a little bit. Now, I have an even bigger problem uh, on top of it. 
I've noticed that all three cylinders, okay, when I, it lost the ability to blow the slide back, all right, you're still cycling the magazine. So you can still fire shots, all right, but the power is very, very minimal. But then I, when I went to bleed the cylinder to see how much CO2 was still in there, it gave a good amount of CO2 coming out of the cylinder when I tried to bleed it. So I don't know if it's an efficiency issue. I'm not sure if it's a quality issue. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not going to take it apart and find out, though. Uh, as I said, these are going to be going back in the box and probably taken down to UPS uh, this afternoon to go back and, and you know if Umarex does a redesign or some kind of quality because um, what the package actually shows is this is supposed to have a metal core the pictures do uh, the actual notation says you have three uh, BB magazines that are metal and then you have one that is polymer which I don't really know why they went with they could have just made it a different color that way you could designate between pellet and BB. Not really sure why they went that way, but poor choice in, in my estimation. And as you can see, go way up in there. All right, there's really no retention from the pellet except for size. All right, it looks like little ribs in there, but I don't know. It, it's just it's something that just doesn't sit right with me. All right. Uh, these retail for about $75 and change on Amazon. And, you know, I used a, a coupon, a gift card that I had. So I bought two of them just on a whim. And unfortunately, this one, in my opinion, didn't pay off. It's still a good gun for training, I suppose. As long as you don't expect too much from your $75. Uh, other retailers have these for over $80, sometimes $90. Okay, for what it is, it's not bad. All right, but it's still a little bit of a disappointment. Um, so that's that's my opinion of this. So, I mean, of course, you know, this is only my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. If you really like the styling of the pistol, go ahead and purchase it from Amazon. I mean, you got some, you know, you got a trial, and then if you don't like it, or if it doesn't live up to your expectations, then go ahead and return it. But um, I, I'm hoping to see... You know, something along the lines of an SA-11, you know, in a year or so. Because this just came out um, probably about six months ago. But when the SA-11 comes out, hopefully, uh, you know, maybe they'll be able to see this video. Take some of these concerns to heart. But um, that's my review. And uh, I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw... Go ahead and mash that like button, hit subscribe, set up your notifications. As I said, I'll be doing more and more videos uh, as I get product in to check out. And as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay on target.